What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video and well, we're getting somewhere. We're fixing this bar top. So I didn't really record much of me actually fixing it because I'm on like a time kind of thing. You know, I only have about two hours after work to actually work on arcades. So right now, check this out. Yesterday, we added the blue carbon fiber uh, vinyl to it. We fixed our admin buttons. We added four buttons up top. I'm gonna to talk behind the camera. Let's take a closer look at this one. So last night, luckily, I was able to take home the control panel. I already made the vinyl. I did the vinyl work here. Again, I, I have to do a little bit better on the vinyl, I'll be honest. I did use a cheap Amazon vinyl, which it worked out pretty good. It is pretty clean. It is kind of thin though. Um, we added the red T-molding right along the front here. We left the black T-molding in the back here. Again, we added our coin and starts up here. I was going to put it down here, but these are so evenly spaced out with me adding. It would have been a nightmare. So I had enough room to put our start and our coins here. Check it out. Four player admins. And we added not only one strip of underglow, but we actually added underglow through the entire bar top by adding a piece of wood, three quarter inch piece of wood to raise this up. Right now, again, I did, I was able to bring home the pie and this already, the SD card and everything is gonna work. So real quick, I'm gonna finalize this bar. This control panel right here is done. I'm not touching this. So we have to unfortunately go back to our jank screws and we're gonna have to just enclose this just the way it is. This control panel is done. Let's finalize everything so the customer can pick this up. This part really sucks. Like, did a brand new control panel, like this is gorgeous. And I have to unfortunately put these jank bunk screws just to hold this control panel in place. This is it. Let's work on the back. We got our pie, Velcroed in. We're gonna fix up the wiring. I have extra LED strip. So we might either go along the back. I did not change the marquee LED only because I didn't want to take this apart. I'm not going to mess with that. That's not going to be touched. So this right now, 99% complete. Um, I'm going to be adding for the customer just because I have them. We're going to give them two wired SNES controllers. They will come through the bottom. Uh, last thing really is to wire up our LED buttons to our LED strip. And we're going to be almost done. Guys. Well, off the bat, guys, you already know. Big downside I already noticed. I can't do anything about it. The sound bar total garbage i can't hear anything i have it on full blast i'm gonna load up a game all the time little hint that i always do street fighter i always load that's the first thing i load up it's the only game that uses all six rk buttons just to make sure that all of our buttons work i always use this to test here we go i always do two coins player one start and then player two start one good if you can hear it the sound on this, I'll flip the, the microphone. One start, two start is good. I always do Ryu, I always do Ken. Like you, you, you can't hear it. We always load up Street Fighter because that is the only game that uses all six buttons. So we always go up, down, left, right. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. left, right, up, down. This is set. We have our save state. So I saved it. I can now reload. There you go. And the exit, unfortunately, with the way the guy made it, is too far for me to do one-handed. I have to do two-handed exit. Also, check it out. Brand new inserts. Look at that. Custom made. Off of Amazon. We got these nice little circle sheets. I got this one going out and Ricky's going to be the first ones ever to get our custom made ones. I want a little Mario style on this one for the money. Give me the credits. Give me the credits. So guys, just shooting a real quick video update. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we're going to have this all done, cleaned up. We're going to put our LED strips. We're going to have so much LED strip that we're probably going to decorate the back of it. But very unique on this one. We added a small platform. This way it's literally underglow coming out of this whole cabinet literally an led strip right underneath it rgb check this out with the lights off it looks like it's freaking floating 
just thought about it. I figured, you know what? I had a piece of scrap wood chilling. And look at that. It is literally floating. So there's actually two strips here. I have an LED strip underneath the main cabinet and then an LED strip underneath the control panel. Amazing. Again, right now our LED buttons are not hooked up. This is it. The next video you're going to see of this arcade, we officially fixed this arcade. Again, it was a very nice arcade. It was pretty cool. Somebody messaged me. They thought it was an eBay, like an $80 eBay cabinet. Pretty cool. I did what I can with the budget. My only downside really to this one is the sound bar. The sound bar is god awful. It's not loud. I'm going to flip the camera and you'll be able to hear it. It's really not that loud. I mean, this is full blast, full volume. And yes, I do have retro arc set to 12 plus decibels. It is set to high volume. I mean, again, this is the only downside that I could talk bad about this cabinet. Nice four by three, four by three. There's another, there's a one handed Hadouken. A one handed Shayuken, can I do it? Yep. <laughs> Again, pretty nice. And we also have our two wired SNES controllers coming out of the control panel. Again, I'm throwing these in for free only because I had them in my trunk. Nobody's dealing with the wired ones anymore. So we're going to probably Velcro it to the edge here. Again, I'm just throwing it in just for kicks. Because again, we are using a four player SD card. 